Hi, my name is Margot. I'm a business analyst here at Vercom, and today I'm going to give you a demo of direct quarantine for Outlook. This video will walk you through the basics of direct quarantine, an Outlook add-on module for our Modus Gate email security and anti-spam gateway. And with it, you will be able to see how to access the direct quarantine folder, which contains all of the quarantined emails. We'll be able to quickly and easily search the quarantine or filter it to look for specific content. We'll be able to release legitimate emails from the quarantine, add trusted senders and block senders, report an email as spam to Vercom, and finally, how to delete and empty the quarantine. After viewing this video, you'll be able to see how the Red Quarantine can relieve the IT administrators from day-to-day -day quarantine management by providing end users direct access to quarantined emails in real time directly from Outlook. First, I will show you how to access the direct quarantine folder. For today's demo, I'll be using Outlook 2007. So here you see we have our new direct quarantine folder added to the folder list. And up here, for your convenience, we also have a button that connects you directly to the folder. So if you're in your inbox or any other folder, you can click on the button from the toolbar and go directly to your quarantine list. You'll also see a counter next to the button and to the folder name that shows the current number of unread quarantine messages. No matter how you get there, what you're going to see is a list of quarantine messages that shows you the sender name, the subject, when the message was received, and what the message contains, whether it's a virus, spam, phishing, or other type. If you have the preview pane enabled, the body of the message can be viewed either in text or HTML, or you can also see the message content by double-clicking it. And note that any links, images, and other potentially dangerous content is not clickable or downloaded in Outlook, and this gives you the best security level. Now, the content of forbidden attachments is also not displayed. However, you can see the attachment name by clicking here, clicking on the preview button, and it will show you the attachment names and sizes. In this next section, we're going to see how you can quickly and easily search the quarantine. You can search directly within the Outlook search toolbar. In this case, I'm going to look for emails containing the subject product. And note that quarantine supports all standard Outlook search attributes, such as subject, folder, from, or to. You can also search the body of the message. Or if you're more familiar with Windows Desktop Search, you can use that as well. You can also filter the quarantine by using the column titles. For example, you can sort by the sender name, the thumb address, to quickly and easily locate specific content. Now I'm going to show you how to release legitimate emails from the quarantine. So I could right-click a message and choose one of the release options. Or I could go right to my toolbar and do a one-click release on the button, or again, I get the drop-down menu with other options. There's no need to wait for the quarantine report, or to log into your web quarantine, or even to call your IT admin to help you. Now I'll show you how to add trusted senders and block senders. Again, you can right-click and use the context menu to choose your trust or block options or you can use your toolbar button if you're more familiar with those to trust or block a sender. On this next section, we can see how to report a message as spam to Vercom. Here I'm in my inbox, and I've decided that this message looks like spam to me. I can simply select the message and click the spam button. The message gets deleted immediately, and a copy gets sent to Vercom for analysis. Now I'll show you how to delete spam from Quarantine. So we can select a single message or multiple messages and choose Delete from your right-click menu or use your Delete button from the keyboard. And it'll place it in a custom Deleted Items folder. If you want to empty all content from the Direct Quarantine folder, just simply right-click the folder name and choose Empty Direct Quarantine. In summary, 
Direct quarantine is an Outlook add-on to our Modus Gate email security and anti-spam gateway. And on the client side, it'll support any type of Windows, 32-bit or 64-bit. It can be Windows XP, Vista, or 7. In the Outlook version, we can support Outlook 2003, 2007, and 2010. So for the first time ever, end users will have direct access to their quarantine email in real time directly from Outlook, providing a seamless user experience while relieving IT administrators from tedious day-to-day -day quarantine management. So if you have any questions or wish to contact us, here's your list of options. Thank you for watching this video.